All right, good morning, class. Today, we're going to be talking about these things called polymer zones and their uses in drug delivery. So before we begin, does anybody have any idea of what a polymer zone is? Anyone? Yes, Lauren. Um, well, I'm assuming it's like a vesicle that's made out of a, like polymers. Correct, Lauren. More specifically, they're vesicles made from block copolymers that self-assemble in water. Okay, so based on what we've talked about in class already, who wants to come up and draw a block copolymer for me? Anyone? Uh, Matt, how about you come up and draw for me? All right, good job. So, for those of you who aren't remembering very well today, we've got two different blocks here in our polymer, and we've got a hydrophilic block and a hydrophobic block in polymer zones. The primary motivation for developing polymer zones is their applications in drug delivery of hydrophilic and hydrophobic drugs. For example, Taxol and doxorubicin are chemotherapeutics that have been encapsulated in polymer zones for passive delivery to tumors. Doxorubicin is water soluble and gets embedded inside the core of the polymer zone, whereas Taxol is water insoluble and gets embedded inside the membrane of the polymer zone itself. When the drugs are combined with the polymer zone, they spontaneously self assemble into a cocktail that leads to better tumor regression than either of the drugs alone. Advances in block copolymer chemistry will further improve the surface properties, target accumulation, trigger release profiles, and the applicabilities of polymer zones to different drugs. Here is a schematic of the polymerosome delivery mechanism where it binds to a cell surface receptor, is absorbed by the cell, and releases its contents after receiving chemical or mechanical triggers from the cell environment. Alright class, now that we've talked about polymerosomes and some of their uses, talk with your neighbor for a couple minutes about some of the design parameters when making polymerosomes. What else do you think? Mm, I think the point where you stay in polymer zone should, shouldn't react with the drugs at a, or degrade it. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, I think also size plays a huge role in drug release kinetics. So the larger the molecular weight of the polymers used in polymer zones, then the thicker the membrane of the polymer zones will be. So then that would affect how the drug is released within the cells in the tumor. Well, looks like that's it for today. Have a nice day, guys, and I'll see you on Friday.